today's daily shout outs congratulations guys if you guys want a chance to win a shout out on my next video just leave a nice comment down below also be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like and check out listingnoel.com for the merch Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lissy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to drop a like if you guys are excited to see my new puppy. I've been wanting a Brussels Griffin puppy for quite a while now. I actually wanted a Brussels Griffin for like since a year or two back. I always joked around about getting one to my family, but I did have Trixie. And Trixie was seriously such a blessing, guys. I loved her so much. And she was kind of like the dog that needed to have her own attention, so... I knew that she was like, you know, nine years old and she was a little bit grumpy and she was the center of attention. So I didn't end up getting a puppy when she was around still because I just wanted to make sure that she got the full attention she needed because like I said, she was such a clingy little dog and I love her so much. I love her dearly and I've literally been so heartbroken over her and trying my best to heal. And I decided that getting a puppy would probably be the best way for me to heal because losing her was definitely the hardest thing I've ever dealt with. And I absolutely love animals so much, guys, and I plan to own a lot of dogs during my lifetime so I present to you guys Trixie's new little sister so this video today is gonna be all about me getting my new Brussels Griffin puppy also if you guys don't know what a Griffin is basically they're these dogs here they come in either like long coats or short coats and they have all sorts of different looks to them and they're kind of rare so I was lucky enough to find one to get that came from South Carolina super excited about it so the next clip is gonna be me driving to get her from the airport and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video to meet my puppy and I am so excited guys I'm so nervous this is my first time meeting this dog I have so many emotions right now okay guys so we just got to the airport I think the flight nanny and the puppy are only like 30 40 minutes away from landing at LAX so staying in my car right now gotta be safe because COVID but I'm seriously so excited to meet this puppy oh my gosh we're gonna start our long long life journey together my puppy supposedly just landed guys I am so emotional right now I'm waiting by baggage claim I'm going to cry I'm so nervous but excited the airport is pretty empty right now by the way because you know COVID and all that so that's it's kind of good that it's empty I was kind of nervous oh my gosh she's so small oh my goodness hi baby just got angel oh my gosh hi baby hi baby so cute I love you our long life journey Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys how I chose Angel. So I ended up getting her because one day I was scrolling online for a Brussels Griffin and I found a picture of this one dog. Something like sparkled in her eye. So I remember I immediately messaged the lady and she told me, okay, yeah, we can get it set up and everything. But then I heard that that one got sold to somebody else. I remember I was pretty sad about it because that other person beat me to it, but it all worked out. Trust me, the story gets crazy. So I remember I was looking around everywhere for a puppy from somebody who was responsible, not like, you know, any kind of puppy meal or anything like that because I don't support those kind of things and I remember I was like looking on Instagram under hashtags for petite bravicons and I saw a puppy that looked like the one that I lost more grown up and I remember DMing that person back saying oh my gosh like where'd you get your dog she's so cute and they're like oh I got her from so and so I was like what I was almost gonna get that dog and we were laughing about it because that was the dog that I lost and then I remember I kept in contact with the lady even though I lost that puppy she was having another litter and she had sent me a photo of a little dog and she's like I don't know if it's gonna be a smooth coat or a hairy coat because like I said they come in two different coats and I wanted a smooth coat and that dog ended up being a hairy coat so I didn't get that dog but then she told me hey she was like that dog that you lost she had a sister and the person who was gonna buy the sister backed out and I was like what like I remember like being so shocked about it Aww. and I was like can I see her and then she sent these photos of her and I immediately was like yes I need this dog like I want this dog and here she is yes you became mine I'm so glad they backed out and they didn't get you because now I have you forever and gonna spoil you <laughs> so it all worked out in my favor and it's so funny because now I keep in contact with Angel's sister um so by the way her name is Angel I named her Angel just because it was either gonna be panini like a sandwich or Angel but my family did not like the idea of panini I thought it was cute but you are an angel sometimes 
Sometimes you're rambunctious, but we'll get there. <laughs> if her sister's owner is watching this, hi! <laughs> uh, hopefully someday the dogs can meet up again because we have contact with each other. And they look very similar, which is cool. So it's nice to be in contact with the um, sister of her that's really, really cool and awesome. And everything kind of ended up being meant to be the way that it was. And I'm super excited for our long life journey together. I feel like we're going to be really good friends, right? We're gonna be really good friends. Even though people say you look grumpy, in my heart, you're smiling, okay? You're not grumpy. You're just a happy little grumpy griffin. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is crazy. I seriously have not had a little puppy since Trixie was little. It's crazy. Angel literally will not leave my side for like a few minutes without crying. She has serious attachment and She's really funny, guys. I'm gonna put a lot of clips in here of her so you guys can try to understand. Oh, that was such a good yawn! So you guys can try to get to know her. She's super, super sweet and she's super small. And she has little eyebrows. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> I'm making her look at the camera. She has little eyebrows, as you guys can see, and it makes her look extra grumpy. But you're actually super happy. You're a happy Griff. You're a happy little Griff. <laughs> it's funny how long her little legs are because she is so small. Like, look at this. It's crazy. Look at her compared to the Trixie plushie. Look, that's your sister. This is an emotional moment. Oh, you love her. She was my best friend. So basically, guys, today what you guys are going to get is pretty much just a completely cute video with a bunch of random puppy clips of me and Angel's first two days together. This is literally our second day together, so I wanted to give her a day to kind of like settle in and get to know the house and get to know what it's like living with me. This is our first video though, like our first like you know, actual video, but she's doing good. She's like loving the spotlight. The center of the tension makes her happy. I think she likes to like be on camera. It's really cute. So yeah, guys, this is just going to be a video for you guys to get to know her and see some cute puppy moments so I can look back at this forever and see little Angel when I first got her, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you sniffing my eyeball? Oh my goodness. Ow, you just licked my contact. All right, guys, so let the cute moments begin. And welcome, Angel, to our little family. I'm so excited. Angel, you're too small to play with that plush. So I have Angel's bed right here, but she chooses my bed. <laughs> she chooses my bed, and she chooses plushies that are, like, three times her size. Hey, you are too small to be chewing that plush. What are you doing, Angel? But she thinks she's bigger than she is. She definitely acts like she's, like, a way bigger dog in some situations. And she has a lot of energy. Oh my gosh, Angel! Angel, it's the camera! Angel, it's the camera! Angel, it's the camera! Hey, come here! <gasps> come here! Go say hi to the camera? Oh my gosh, that's the camera, Angel! Angel, you can't eat the camera! Come, 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 come! Yeah! You're real fast! Ow, you bit me! Cool! <laughs> you can zoom! You can zoom! Ow, don't eat my hair! Ow, Angel! Angel, that hurts! Ow, Angel! Ow, let go! Okay, so she's finally playing with her bone. She just gets these energy spurts where she has all the energy in the world, and then the next moment I can't even get her to, like, stop sleeping. It's so funny. Angel. You have high energy. Oh my goodness, do you like your sweater? Is it nice? This is her first sweatshirt, guys. I had to roll her other sleeve up, but we actually have matching ones. She can see herself in the mirror. Who's that? That's you. That's you who you see in the mirror. Oh, so cute. You look like an Instagram dog model. <laughs> do you like that we're matching? We look so good! Look at us! I think she likes wearing clothes. Honestly, it makes her feel like she's cool. <laughs> you feel cool? It keeps me warm. I like my sweater. It feels nice. Aww, she's sleepy. You want to take a nap? Nap time? I don't blame you. I'm sleepy too. You finally got that energy out.
So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you.